And just to address one other question, this bubble question, we are not in a bubble. Although compliance would have me say, I do not believe we are in a bubble, uh, uh, rightly, uh, is, is because of how many, uh, how many questions we get about being in a bubble and, uh, and how much fear there is uh, that we're in a bubble is because the seeds of what um, we believe will happen during the next five years, so these five innovation platforms involving 14 to technologies, the seeds for all of them were planted more than 20 years ago in the tech and telecom bubble and even before that, so the PC and the internet together. Um, and then the internet, of course, the bubble uh, uh, caused a rush of capital into what in, they were actually the dream at the time. The dream was right. Uh, it was just 20 to 25 years too early. Amazon maybe being an exception, an important one and showing the way. Uh, uh, and so therefore, we're in the period of reality. The seeds are beginning to flourish. Uh, we are ready for prime time. That is what we truly believe. And uh, so this notion of a bubble, I think is born once again, out of the benchmark sensitivity and backwards looking nature of a lot of in institutional investors out there. Uh, so the other thing I'll say about this is what they should be worried about uh, is, is not our strategies or innovation based strategies. They should be worried about their strategies uh, because the other side of disruptive innovation is creative destruction. And when we're talking about the S&P 500, we think creative destruction is going to impact nearly 50% of the S&P 500. And, and, that, uh, and that we measure um, uh, in two ways, by uh, uh, looking at the fixed assets out of there that will become stranded. And there are hundreds of billions, if not trillions, of fixed assets out there that will be stranded. And of course, we also look at the market uh, cap exposure uh, in those groups.